I'm going to be showing you how to get an avatar to play in Beat Saber as well as showcasing it with the Camera Plus mod. Just make sure to have Mod Assistant installed, which I will put a link in the upright if you don't have it. All links mentioned in this video will be in the description. Let's get started. First, you want to open up Mod Assistant and into the Mods tab, find Dynamic Open VR, which is essential to get the avatars to appear in Beat Saber. Just check mark it and click install or update. From there, go to Beat Saber Modding Group Discord. I'll put the link down below, but for general knowledge, you would have had to go to the search bar and type variations of custom avatar in order to find the newest working version. In this case, I typed install custom avatars, but to make your lives easier, the link is down below. Click the link and it will start downloading the zip file. Once it is done, just open it up and extract the contents to your desktop. Go to Mod Assistant, Options, Open Folder, and place all three files into the folder. Since I have custom avatars from before, I don't need to replace it as it has a bunch of my avatars already, but if you don't have it, then drag and drop it in. Enter into Plugins and grab the custom avatar file and put it into the BeatSaver plugin folder. Lastly, drag the Dynamic Open VR over and if you had a previous one, just overwrite it. Time to get avatars by going to bsaber.com over plugins and avatar. You can try and search for a specific avatar or just scroll through and pick the ones you like. Make sure you enable the one-click install feature on Mod Assistant and all you need to do is press install. Allow to open Mod Assistant and it will appear in your custom avatars folder. You go into Beat Saber and see that the Avatar tab appears in the Mods section. Going through my avatars, a green screen appears. Not sure if that is something new, but when I play a song, that green screen doesn't show. It seems to only appear when selecting an avatar and I can't really figure if it is a bug, but it still works. In the General tab, if you want to see your avatar in the first person, just enable it. If for some reason it is not the right size, just mess with the resize mode and floor height adjust as well as clicking on the measure arm span where you will extend your arms out to the sides and it will reconfigure your arm length. Avatar specific and automatic FBT is mainly for full body track users to calibrate to their avatars. Sadly, I don't have full body track so I won't be going over it. To get different angles to showcase your avatar, you need Camera Plus Mod, so make sure to install it from Mod Assistant. Reopen the game and hover your mouse cursor to the game viewer and right click. A menu will pop up with options such as Add New Camera in which you can grab, scale it, and move it around. You can make many cameras and you can remove them, but make sure to right click on the viewer you want to change specifically. You can also duplicate a selected camera. There are three modes, first person, third person, and 360 third person, but I just stick with third person to see my avatar. There will be a camera in game that you can grab, rotate, distance, and position. I typically make one camera for third person and one for first person in the bottom. You can show the created camera in-game as to move it around and when done, hide it so it doesn't appear in your recordings. Force Upright Camera will position the camera so it doesn't tilt and makes for a smooth gameplay in first person. Solid Walls will make sure the walls aren't transparent which can obstruct the viewers from watching your videos, so I enable Transparent. You can show and hide both avatar and the UI. In layout, you can mess with the field of view. Render scale can be left at 1 because if you make it lower, the render looks blurry and a higher number will improve the quality a bit, but it will slow down the game as well. Fit to canvas will take the viewer you selected and it will cover everything. And supposedly making it to not fit to canvas, it should revert back but it hasn't done that so I just remove it. I'm assuming it's a bug that needs to be fixed but for the most part for everything else it works. 
For more manual control, you can mess with the XYZ position and rotation for some fine tuning and amount movement and rotation. I didn't really see anything with those, so I didn't touch them. Same thing with layer. Lastly, profile saver, which I'm really liking as you can save your scene. And let's say you have a four camera setup. You can save that as well and select between the ones you have and load which ones you want. And the scene change enables you to switch between your selected save profiles from the menu to your game as in song play. And please do not press the spawn 38 cameras. If you do, delete all of them or just go to layout layer and change it to not be negative 1000. Honestly, I don't think that they should even have this in camera plus mod. They should really just get rid of it. As for recording gameplay, I use OBS as it is a free to use and there are many tutorials on how to set that up and that's basically how you do it. In the case that Dynamic OpenVR isn't in Mod Assistant as it has happened before, then you would have to search for it in the Beat Saber Modding Group Discord, which if you haven't joined, I highly recommend for all your Beat Saber needs. If you found this video helpful, then give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more future content. Follow me on Twitter to know when I'll be posting another video, and I bid you Beat Saber Champions a good day. Peace out.